Hi everyone. Till now we have seen the stick diagrams, how to draw the stick diagrams of various logic functions using CMOS. Now in this video I am going to start the layout diagrams. So before going into drawing of layout diagrams, first we should know what are the different layers and how to represent each layer in the mask layout and as well as how to represent a transistor as well. So now layout is nothing but what do you mean by layout? Transistors are generally represented in the form of layers with length and width on the silicon substrate. So the fabrication on a silicon wafer is done with the help of layout diagrams layout diagrams so layout diagrams are the ultimate and just the last but one step in the fabrication. So once the layout is completed, post layout simulation, pre layout simulation and post layout simulation, everything is ready and the design is perfect, then we go for the fabrication. Then the design engineer will hand it over this particular layout design to the fabrication engineer. So fabrication engineer, what he will do, he will take that file and simply go for the fabrication without any verification because already verification will be done by the design engineer okay so layout consisting of all the layers in terms of length and width so all the layers all the layers in layout are represented by its length and width. So all the layers in the layout are represented by its length and width. Suppose if you are drawing any line like this, then what is the length of this wire? And what is the width of this wire has to be known. Okay, so this represents the width and this represents the length. Similarly, for every layer, we should know what is the length and width representation of a particular layer. Okay, this length and width represents the Z because Z is equal to L is to W. Z is equal to L by W. This will represent the Z and Z is indirectly used to calculate the total on resistance. Suppose if you want to calculate the total on resistance on channel resistance of a MOSFET then R on if you say R on is equal to Z into RS. Okay, In the future I will be having this sheet resistance and gate capacitance concepts so there I will explain what do you mean by Z into S and everything how we have got this one so R on is equal to Z into RS Z is nothing but length to width ratio of any mass transistor and RS is nothing but sheet resistance of a particular layer okay suppose if you are using metal layer it is having some sheet resistance if you are has uh, using a diffusion resistance that is having some sheet resistance and if you are having any type of uh, other layers like polysilicon or any type of layer everything is having a sheet resistance that particular sheet resistance is going to be multiplied by the length to width ratio of that particular sheet and then you will get the R on okay so what we are going to do in the layout diagrams is first we are going to see what are the different layers we have and how to represent them so first one is name of the layer name of the layer and 
in the second one color coding is nothing but color representation color coding of layer and next one representation representation let us see one by one how each layer is represented in the layout first one take a metal wire take a metal metal is represented by blue color metal is represented by blue color so metal representation of this layout is like this metal we can say metal one okay not instead of directly taking metal there are several metals that are eligible in the mask layout fabrication among them first one is metal one metal two Okay, up to metal 7 or 8 we have metal 1, 2, 3 each and what is the difference between uh, this metal 1 and metal 2 metal 1 is having very low resistance compared to metal 2 likewise we are having different resistance and capacitance values of each metal it is also in blue color but here blue color in vertical lines here blue color in horizontal lines okay so blue color for the metal one and blue color for metal two the same colors we are we have already used in the stick diagrams here also we will use the same colors but in block representation these are the horizontal lines like this third one is polysilicon layer polysilicon is a layer so that polysilicon is represented by red color this is the polysilicon and now backslashes representing the polysilicon next one is p plus diffusion next n plus diffusion i will tell n plus diffusion so p plus diffusion which is nothing but there are two representation for the p plus diffusion one is yellow border yellow border with uh, What is that uh, green lines and the second representation is same n plus diffusion like a green lines and border with yellow outer box okay and coming to the n plus diffusion n plus diffusion is nothing but directly green box with lines okay so take <coughs> the first representation so here we have yellow border yellow box in the second representation you are having a big yellow box okay now take green color so green lines take green color green lines as it is p plus diffusion draw lines with high separation here you are going to take green color
the green green lines with the high gaps without any yellow if you are directly drawing and the lines should be very near to each other that is for the n plus diffusion okay now what else we have contact contact so take this normal blue color now sixth one contact contact is in black color contact is in black color that is a small square box okay 4 micrometer by 4 micrometer or 2 micrometer by 2 micrometer that is just simply represented by a square box okay all this should be darkened Okay, this is the representation of the contact. The representation of the contact. Now coming to the seventh one. Now let us start with the transistors. So what do you mean by an N mass transistor? So N mass transistor. Let us see how it is represented. N mass transistor. N mass transistor. We know red over n plus diffusion red over n plus diffusion so take n plus diffusion which is in green color now Take red color, backslash, this is what the N plus diffusion and coming to the PMOS transistor, PMOS transistor. So, what is the representation of the PMOS transistor? Red over P plus diffusion. Red over P plus diffusion. So, take red color same as it is whatever we have in the N mass transistor, same N plus diffusion. Uh, now, take P plus diffusion, then becomes PMOS transistor. So yellow border, take green color and stripes. Okay, now let us see how a depletion mode transistor is going to be represented. Depletion mode. N mass transistor depletion mode N mass here also it is red over green red over green with ion implant what is the difference between enhancement mode and depletion mode channel so channel is there in the depletion mode so to represent the channel now we are just take, taking yellow box Okay, as it is N plus diffusion, draw yellow color, uh, green color line like this. Now, take red color to create a transistor first. Backslash. Now, take yellow color. 
yellow color and draw ion implantation region this represents ion implant or what is this channel ion implant or channel so these are the various layers of mass structures when we are going to draw the layout diagrams okay in the next video i will explain how to draw the layout diagrams of different universal gates and as well as various logic functions